Hi everyone, Marty again, and in the last video I showed you how to sign up for a Google AdSense account. And in this video I'm going to show you how to take your AdSense publisher ID and put it onto your WordPress direct site so that you can start displaying the ads and also collecting your AdSense data that we're going to use to evaluate how your site's doing. Now, um, I, in fact, when I showed you how to set up the account, mistyped the name of the website and uh, Google... Uh, didn't approve it because they couldn't see what the site looked like because there was a misspelling in it. So I had to uh, fix that and resubmit it. Uh, hopefully you haven't made any spelling errors in your application like I did. And hopefully your account has been approved by now. So uh, given that it, you have an AdSense account now, I'm going to show you how to take your publisher ID and do what you need to do. Let's get started. Okay, I'm logged into my AdSense account here. And uh, right now I'm not going to go through all of these settings. We're going to cover that in the next video. I'm just going to show you how to actually add your blog to your AdSense account so that you can start generating some earnings and collecting stats. Um, and those stats are going to be reported under AdSense for content, and we're going to talk about those in the next video. Uh, so what you can do if you want to see all the ways that you can display AdSense is go to this AdSense Setup tab. That's going to show you the, um, the text ads that you can make called AdSense for Content. You can display a search box, um, all different ways of displaying AdSense. Um, the thing is, on a blog, you're always going to have AdSense for content. Now, if you click this, you're going to get a bunch of JavaScript code, and you'll have to sort of know how to do that inside uh, WordPress administration. What we do with WordPress Direct is we make it a lot simpler. So if you'll notice, up in the right-hand side, you'll see this thing. It says Publisher ID. You can just grab this and we'll copy it. All right. And then we're going to go to our WordPress Direct Control Panel and on this first site, now I'm logged into an account that we have. This is a Platinum account. It looks a little bit different possibly than the accounts you have because it's um, you can see the list is sort of more compact. It's made for um, folks that have hundreds and hundreds of websites. So it, the layout's a little bit different but you'll see when I go into the site it looks exactly the same as your WordPress Direct account. And we're going to go into this site, uh, the Stop Smoking Laser. It's for laser treatments to stop smoking. It looks like this. And then um, we'll put the AdSense code on there, and that then the text ads should start displaying where they actually appear is going to be dependent on the theme. So you may want to you know, switch themes and get something that lays out the best way um, depending on, on what happens when we put the code in there. So let's see how that looks. So we'll go back to our control panel. Uh, you just log into your WordPress Direct account. Um, we'll get into the uh, settings for this. Okay, so when you go into the settings for the website, you will see that down here under the settings is a, a spot for AdSense ID. All you need to do is take the publisher ID that we copied before, paste it in here, and then save the settings. That will put AdSense on the blog. So let's save these settings. Now the next thing we're going to do is just make sure that the AdSense plugin is on. So we go to Manage Plugins. Now the only thing that you're going to need to check is to make sure that this WPD Ads Manager is enabled. All right, so if it says disable plugin, that's mean it's it's currently enabled. Um, so you want to leave it like that. If it says activate plugin, then you're going to want to uh, activate the plugin so that it'll actually display the AdSense. But usually it's defaulted so that this is going to be on, especially on a challenge uh, website. Click on ads and banners. Okay, once we know that the uh, plugin is active and it should always by default be active. Next thing you want to do is click on this ads and banners link and you will see uh, the page for setting up all the different ads that you might display on your blog. These are all managed out of one central place so when you see insert an ad at the bottom click this ad type and you can click on AdSense. What this allows you to do is to control uh, the color of the ads so if I want my ads in the classic sort of blue color. Um, no, the background color, sorry, would be, uh, let's say, white. 
no color. And the foreground color might be that classic blue color. And then, um, you know, we can uh, have it be placed uh, inside the post. And we could use a, um, a banner size like this. And let's just put in here AdSense and post. And this other part is optional. You don't need to do that. And we'll say add new ad. Now when we go to our site and refresh it, you'll see now we have AdSense ads right in the middle of our content. And this is really one of the best ways to do it because um, you know when somebody people uh, might you know land on your home page, but if they're looking at you know laser touch offices in Indiana as the keyword, laser touch office Indiana, they're going to land on this page, not your home page. And this way they're going to see the ads right on the first page that they see. Um, so you know I recommend putting the ads right in your content. Um, and you can play with various sizes. You can use this type of um, header style. Uh, there's different, different sizes you can use. You know, 250 by 250 square is also a common size um, at the top of the post or the bottom of the post. Now, when you go back to that ads and banners page, you're going to see that it's going to show you that there's a um, 468 by 60 banner of AdSense in your post. Uh, another common thing to do is to, um, again, same blue, uh, pick the larger leaderboard and put that in your header. So if you want a, a, maybe four of these across in your header, um, you can you can set the settings this way 728 by 90 liter board in your header so there's a lot of different sizes to work with um, you know depending on how your theme lays out uh, you can try different ones um, so try all these different sizes um, uh, with your theme see which ones lay out the best and then um, good luck with uh, collecting some good AdSense stats and we'll be talking to you about that in the next video as always, if you like these videos, you can find more of the videos in the challenge series at the URL listed below, challenge.co.